Hey, what's up guys? Hunter Sales back here on Douglas Lake. Uh, today is May 12th. I just wanted to do this week's fishing report for you. Fishing out here has still been absolutely phenomenal. A lot of the same players from last week, um, but there has been kind of a transition. Uh, the shallow fish are kind of starting to fizzle out and you're starting to see more and more of those classic Douglas Lake deep schools showing up. Um, you know, they're a little finicky still. They're not pulling a whole lot of current. Uh, a ton of fishing pressure out here with a, with a couple of the big tournament trails the last few weeks, um, but they're still out there and they're still they're still biting. Uh, it's just hard to catch a ton out of one school. It seems like you get three or four bites, uh, and then you really have to keep rotating stuff. Uh, this week, out deep, the biggest the biggest player has has been a spoon. Um, you know, whatever your favorite brand is, this is a Bass Pro Shop spoon. Um, you know, this is the seven inch model. It's, it's my favorite. I'm throwing it on a, an eight foot flipping stick, uh, pro series duck it. Uh, you know, you want a big rod, something with a stiff tip, uh, something that can move a lot of water. Uh, and the key has been really, you know, if you graph those fish, you'll see they're sitting 10 foot or so off the bottom for the most part. And so you really need to be able to, to rip that spoon up to those fish. Uh, and it, then when they chase it down, usually is when you catch those fish on the fall there. Um, you know, that, that's really good when you start seeing those fish up off the bottom. My spoon is kind of my go-to, and there's a lot of that going on right now. So that's that's not bait number one. Uh, some of my best quality has been on that. Uh, the, the numbers out deep has been the same setup as last week. Um, this Carolina rig, uh, three-quarter ounce angler tungsten weight. Um, you know, a pretty long leader still. Uh, I guess probably four, four or five feet. Um, throwing a creature bait. Uh, this is a Zoom Baby Brush Hog. Um, your favorite one is, is fine there. They don't seem to be too picky. Throwing on a 7.6 duck at Insight, uh, medium heavy. I like the 7.6 or a longer rod uh, just to help you pick up. You know, you got this big leader. You need to pick up a lot of line on your hook set. Um, been catching that one, kind of just dragging off points. You know, some fish that I graph, uh, and then sometimes just pulling up and throwing on a point. There's a lot of fish doing that right now. If you want to go ahead and have a fun day catching some deep fish, the Carolina rig uh, is, is the way to go right now for sure. Like we're drifting this week. Let's just put the power poles down. Uh, the next bait is still is still killing it. It's a way to catch great numbers. Uh, this is the uh, Kitek 2.8. Uh, just throwing on a quarter ounce ball head on a seven foot medium spinning rod, uh, smack down braid, make a super long cast and just slow reeling that. Um, catching white bass, small mouth, large mouth, same deal. Uh, just a ton of numbers on that. Uh, that's kind of to do with the shad spawn and then you still got you still got a few fish up spawning and so you can fish that swim bait slow down the bottom and, and you can catch a few of those fish for sure i know a lot of the a lot of the bigger bags in the white pine uh, came on that on that 2.8 um next bait you know the shad spawn is definitely still happening uh maybe starting to wind down on the upper half of the lake but um catching some good fish around a shad spawn on a shatter bait it's my definitely my favorite bait to throw around a shad spawn uh, this is a 3 8 ounce z-man jackhammer um you know, in the trailer, just something white. You really want to just throw white when they're on that shad spawn deal. I'm throwing it on a seven foot heavy, uh, duck it micro magic, um, skipping it around around vegetation, uh, willow bushes and things like that. Just trying to get that bait in places other people aren't. Uh, but the darker areas, you know, that's where the shad spawn will last the longest at. Um, but the first 30 to 45 minutes of daylight has been really, really good. Um, overall, the lake's fishing good. Uh, size is kind of hard to come by you know 14 pounds is still a really really strong bag out here i know that uh the morristown marines going on this weekend uh the bass pro shops high school series hopefully you guys can can listen to this uh hopefully some of those tips help you guys out and good luck fishing this week on douglas lake thanks